U.S. manufacturers Boeing and Sikorsky are currently going head-to-head, -head, competing for two significant export orders with their respective heavy lift helicopters, the CH-47F Chinook and the CH-53K King Stalin. Earlier this year, both companies announced the submission of bids to Germany to meet the Bundeswehr requirement to replace the country's fleet of aging Sikorsky CH-53G stallions. Sikorsky CH-53K program aims to expand capabilities and reduce life cycle costs through operational and support cost reductions plus mission critical range and payload increases. The King Stallion was designed to transport U.S. Marines, heavy equipment and other supplies during operations ashore. Its main characteristics include three powerful engines, fly-by-wire active controls, composite main rotor blades and a glass cockpit with multifunctions displays that integrate mission and health monitoring systems. Able to lift 12,000 kilograms with a mission radius of 200 kilometers, this helicopter has a baseline capability three times bigger than the current CH-53E and will be the largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military. Boeing CH-47F model provides a competitive export option to Sikorsky's helicopter with an estimated unit cost of $27 million. This aircraft benefits from extensive operational service in Afghanistan and Iraq and is expected to remain the primary heavy lift helicopter in service with the US Army until 2030. As Germany waits for the final offer from the two competitors at the end of Q4 2020, by early next year, the country is expected to begin receiving 44 to 60 new aircraft from the successful company to replace its legacy fleet. And while the race for replacement continues, Germany is also undertaking a modernization program of its CH-53 aircraft. European multinational Airbus has been contracted to refit the heavy transport helicopters to ensure they remain operational until new deliveries take place. The process started back in 2017 and is expected to be concluded in 2022. New EW systems supplied by Israeli company Elbit are being installed to replace older components and enhance the aircraft's capacity to detect and locate enemy threats. Staying in Israel, the Chinook and King Stalin are also in the running to replace the country's aging CH-53 Yasser fleet, due to be retired in 2028. The need for new procurement is affected by the political uncertainty dominating the Middle Eastern country, but an alternative solution remains imperative as the current Yasser fleet reported three emergency landings and loss of one aircraft in only six months. Although there is little clarity on when a new decision on possible replacements will be made, the Israeli Air Force has conducted evaluation flights on both the CH-47 and CH-53K. Given the age of both Germany and Israel's heavy lift fleets, both countries are facing a scenario where the integration of new helicopters into their air forces remains vital.